my investment style is contrarian. I don't mean like a contrarian, I am a contrarian. If all the money is in a situation, mean stocks, real estate, whatever, I don't wanna be there. And then from, from there, I just move on and then do other things. Let me give you a point and an example. Meme stocks. So when everybody was going GameStop, AMC and all that, the money was already there. But when everybody was focused on that, it was a lot of undervalued companies not getting paid attention to. I will invest in those companies to play it the long haul. And that's how I play it. When it comes to real estate, if a market that I'm in, that I've been investing in, and it gets hot, I just stop investing in there and then pivot to another situation. I pivot to a different state, a different locale, a different area, and I start going into untapped markets because I want to be there because I want to get a good property, a good stock, a good investment at a reasonable price. And then I start buying and accumulating assets. And then when everybody else realizes that is the hot market, they go drive the price up and then I benefit. But I'm never going in there thinking that, oh, cause everybody else doing it, I'm gonna follow along. Back to this contrarian investment thing. So just giving you insight. So back in 2000, you know, 2008 financial crisis, everybody was hard on the banks and everybody had a right to be hard on banks. The nefarious things that they did was something that people should pay attention to. From 2008 to 2012, you know, you had the Citibank do the reverse split and you had other different avenues, you know, Lehman Brothers going bankrupt and things of that nature. I just let the water settle. And then I started looking at IE Bank of America. That's one of the stocks that I, I got into. I let Bank of America get close to its 52 week low and then I backed the truck up in it because it was out of favor. I knew eventually that it would come back after it got rid of his, you know, debt obligations and stuff that they owed to the government. And then fast forward a couple of years, I was able to exit part of my position in Bank of America because I bought it at a low. And then when people started piling up, drove the price higher, and then I was able to pay for my property cash with no obligation after that. We're still basing on the, you know, contrarian aspect of things. Uh, I remember back, in like 2015, 2016, when Amazon, Amazon was, a, you know, a company, and then people that didn't know no better, you know, they had a low float count of shares outstanding, and the stock was trading at $800 a share. And then people looked at the price of the stock and thought that, oh, this is expensive, because it was eight, eight, 11 a share. And then that's when I started acquiring the shares in Amazon, and then I just kept accumulating because of the momentum, the revenue that it was generating. More people was adapting to that, you know, e-commerce space and things like that. And then I just kept buying, kept buying, kept buying. And then of course, you fast forward to the COVID situation where everything had to be e-commerce because most of the buildings were closed. And then that's where I was able to profit. So I focus on things that's out of favor that people are not paying attention to that will in the long run have, you know, long growth, great upsell prop, uh, probabilities. And then that's how I invest to make the most alpha out of my money. In the realm of real estate. So in 2012, of course, I wasn't in the country, but the value of real estate here in Florida was fairly low. But when I got here in 2013 and 14, I started accumulating real estate at the lowest prices. Nobody's paying attention to Florida because this is where people's second and third homes was. So I was accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Then we fast forward to 2020 and then the COVID crisis happens and then the price of real estate start going up. Instead of me keep piling on here in Florida, I pivoted to other states where it wasn't the quote unquote place to be because the things that I seen was the expense or the prices of real estate became so expensive in Florida, the price of rent became so expensive in Florida that people that lived here in Florida that originated here in Florida would not be able to afford the uh, livability of Florida. So I started thinking of locales that was close to Florida but the rates was cheaper and then I started investing in buying real estate there. And then now you're starting to see, now we're going into 2024, a lot of the migration, a lot of the people that are renting to in these other locales are coming from Florida. And it's just a, a matter of looking around the corner, having a forward thinking mindset to be a contrary to what everybody else is doing. And that's how you benefit in investing. 
not doing what everybody else doing, but doing counter to what people are doing because I'm of the mindset that a large group of people are not smart. So why would I follow them? And I want to get ahead of them so they can jump on something that I already have to increase the value of what I already have.